Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorial. So you're watching Mainframe GCL Practical Tutorial of Part 5. So this is the continuation to IBM Utilities uh, Practical Tutorial. So today I will be talking about IEB copy and its importance theoretically and practically. So far I have been covered about IEB Jenner and IEFBR14 and how to create a PS, PDS files and many things. So in this video I would share something about IEB copy and its importance. Let's go ahead and start. So IEB copy, it is used for many purposes. So one of the important purposes, it can compress the PDS file. It is used to copy a PDS members. I mean use it to copy from one PDS to another PDS. It can merge multiple PDS into a single data set that is single PDS. It can select a particular members and copy to another PP PDS or it can exclude particular members while copying from one PDS to another PDS. And we can also rename a PDS member. Okay. Let's go ahead and see uh, it practically. Uh, the note important point over here is uh, this is quite different from other IB utilities. Uh, that is, uh, instead of defining in a system defined SysUt1 and SysUt2, you can have your own DD names defined. So that's the, uh, I mean, that is a note for IEB copy. So no need to use SysUt1. So you can use your own DD names. So let's go ahead and see practically. So first one is it is used to compress a PDS member, right? So let's see the compress. Okay. Job card as usual. Don't forget to give you a comment. This cell is using IB copy. Uh, is used to compress the PDS. So when I say compress, what happens is you might have created a PDS member and it might uh, be saying something it might while copying a PDS member or while you're trying to edit the member inside while going in uh, after going into this. So the space is uh, not reserved. I mean the space is stored in a particular way. I mean it, there might be a, some free space available inside it so it might be covering a lot so in order to avoid those free space and uh, merge it together and uh, so that it you will have uh, another space room available so in that case if you use compress so it will release the space and you can store your members so that is condition is it should be completely i mean the members are stored in a disorder way so once you compress it so it might store in the order way uh, out one and out two. So what he, what here it does is, so you have a PDS member already created and you same you have to give the same out two also. Okay, same DD name you should give. Out one and out two. Copy in DD and copy out DD. Just submit it. Enter that is zero. So it, the data get compressed. Or else you can do one thing over here is just compress it here out1 and out2 you can have the same parameter defined over here once you can compress it or else i mean this is entirely compressing the data set in the batch mode okay there will be a set of data sets i mean there might be some situation where you're trying to copy multiple pds members from one pds to another pds it might have uh, some thousands or ten thousand members so after copying then the you want to compress it uh, or sequentially one after the other so you can give this job and the data get compressed you will have a room to copy another members okay not only this way you can you can use another way to compress the data members like going to start uh, 3.4 and enter so you can just use that that's it your data get compressed so in this way you this is one of the way uh, one of the way and this is by batch mode okay not the next point next point is to copy the PDS member right so we'll see copy PDS member okay so I have a PDS member over here one out one and out two so I want to copy all the members from PDS to uh, PDS dot backup. So how to do this? Same, you have a copy in DD out one and from where to copy out two. 
so in my case the backup file is already created if you want to create it here just you can give the parameters specify all these parameters and you can create it or else just you give the backup and share that's it just submit it and if it's zero let's check if this if the if, the, if these are copied yes okay member of member 2 there are five members inside it yes there are five members inside it so if you want to check if you want to know how many members here in this particular pds members you can check it here okay total five pds members are there inside this pds okay then what is the next one merge multiple pds into a single data set okay ib merge I have PDS, I have PDS1, no, I don't have it, uh, we have just created, right, backup, PDS dot backup, comma, this equal to share, okay, I'm trying to create this, here, so you have to give the card as copy in dd equal to in one comma into and out dd equal to out one okay new catalog delete okay size 4400 okay babe make sure what is it has 4400 4400 yes pds member so what i will do is i will create an extra member over here number three so that we can have some difference okay save no space in directory right so what I will do is just try to compress it compress this data set and uh, let's check if it if we have a room here one second no space no spaces it is it means that your data set is completely occupied let us see how many I have allocated here. Oh, allocated tracks were one and extends were run, but utilized is one one. So in this situation, I cannot compress it. So what I can do is simply delete these members. Okay. Okay. Refresh. Then I can create another members. M E M one. Okay. Done. Okay, that is just to see the difference. Okay, now I have backup, backup three, and I'm trying to increase the tracks to it so that it can store more things, more members. Okay, let's submit it. Enter zero. Let's see if these are created. Yes, backup three is created just to browse it you can see mem1 test3 test1 test2 okay one thing over here is if it finds the same member in pds1 and pds uh, in backup sorry i wanted to say test1 okay test1 is here and test2 is here it will copy only one member how do it copy it one member for ex which will uh, which will it will copy it will it copy from pds test one or it will copy from backup test one let's see how it does which one it will take i'm thinking like mostly it will take from test back first one or the last one let's see what can it happen over here mm, i'm thinking as uh, it is completely test one Test one records. Okay, just have it for repeat it for six times. Test records in PDS. PD yes. Okay. Enter. Repeat it for six times. Okay. Save it. enter
paste it this is uh, in pds uh, in the in backup okay repeat it for five times save it let's see what it will create it i will create one other uh, backup four file okay we'll try to copy which one it will copy we'll see okay i think it's the backup file is created yes the backup file is created and it will have test one and test two so let's see which one it is copied see as i said it will copy the first one itself it is going to copy the first one whenever you are trying to uh, merge these pds members so be careful that which member you want to copy from pds or pds dot backup and they give that particular data set so that you might be expecting a member from backup uh, so it might be the data might be different in this member and uh, and and in the pds member so be cautious at that time so this is to merge a multiple pds members into one pds so what is the next one so we can exclude or select the members while copying one PDS. So here it is. So how do you exclude? First we will see how to exclude the PDS member. Okay. So I'm trying to create a backup file. Okay. Backup file. Member 1 and member 2. I'm trying to uh, copy a member 1 and member 2 to this. Before that, choose, please check it. So, if you have the backup file created, no, there is no backup file file created. So, here, just submit it. Enter. Okay, zero. Refresh. Yes, backup file is created. And you can see you have excluded. So, it, since you have given excluded, so the members will not get copied. The only two member, these two members are excluded and remaining other are copied. So just if you want to see what we are there in PDS data set, yes, you have member one and member two that's been excluded and the remaining were copied here. So that's it. So this is about the exclude members. Is this 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 is very very important when you are trying to copy. So you might be having different libraries called JCL lib, source lib, card lib. So from there, if you want to take a backup of that particular card lips, so you can use this exclude member and uh, you can copy the remaining will. So you might be having a situation like you have uh, you have hundred of a PDS members. So from that hundred or thousand of PDS members inside the PDS, you want to copy only few selected members. So how to do that? So this is done using select. This is done using select. So this is quite opposite to exclude. Okay, since we have backup four and five created, I will take it as six. Okay, in one, in two, same thing. So you are trying to select member one and member two instead of exclude. Just you need to give uh, member one and member two, member one and member two. That's it. Okay, just save it and give it and submit it okay it's in it with zero and let's see if it is created yes the backup six is created yes it has selected only two members over here okay what i'll do is just try to delete all these things as i don't need this okay delete it delete it delete it delete it delete it delete it, delete it. Yes, everything is been deleted. <coughs> okay, that's all for today's video. I hope you ha you have enjoyed this video by watching this. Uh, this is very very helpful to all the beginners who who, are, who want to learn this mainframe tutorial mainframe. So I tell you that this is the completely a uh, free tutorial for the beginners. So this is my knowledge sharing, whatever the experience I have, this I thought of sharing to enter uh, all the people uh, to the world. So please uh, stay tuned to uh, YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want uh, alerts, you if you want to get it alerts as you as an email to your inbox, 
please kindly subscribe to my youtube channel so that you can get a daily updates so what are the posting i would be posting i would be uploading a videos to youtube channel so once again uh, thank you so much for watching this video have a great and pleasureful day